Hello everyone, today I'm going to be speaking to you about instant projects on Video Studio X5. So, what are instant projects? So basically they are projects which have been pre-made for you, which you can adjust to your liking, you can insert your own video clips, and you basically keep the style which has already been designed for you. Um, so you can click on the instant projects tab which is here, the second one down. Now if you're used to X4 you'll remember it's down here near the timeline so they've actually moved it and it's now up here. So click on instant project and now you'll see that there is a whole list of different ones here which say beginning, middle, ending and complete which is the whole project. So you can choose between those ones and then you'll see when you click on one a whole range of different ones which have been pre-made for you here. So what you need to do is choose one and uh, obviously first of all decide whether you want it at the beginning, middle or the end or you want it to run the whole way through your project. So for the purpose of this video I'm just going to do it for the beginning. So I've clicked on the beginning tab here and I'm just going to choose the first one on the list. So you left click on it and you drag it into the timeline. Now you'll see here when I'm hovering over the timeline that it's gone white. So that's the space that it will take up on the timeline. You can see it's about 10 seconds long. So when you let go of left click, you'll see that the instant project has been inserted, including music and overlays, titles, and, in, and also some video in there as well. So you can see when we press play to preview the video, this is our pre-made layout. obviously not perfect to what we want because we want to add our own videos inside these um, media players here. So what do you do to add video inside where these 123s are? So basically you go to your media file, you insert it to your library and then find one which is a similar size to the ones which are already here so it's easier to trim it down then look to see how long it is you can even look in the uh, properties to see how long that clip is so you just delete that right click on it and press delete and then you can drag your one in and then trim it to the right size and then you'll see that it is now being inserted onto the timeline here so we removed number one so obviously it's going to go into number one here so we can move it around by left clicking on it and dragging and we can resize it by using the little squares on the corners here and on the sides so we can position it inside the frame and we can stretch it and now you can see that it has fit inside there now when we play this see that it just appears so that doesn't look very good when it just appears like that so left click on your video press options and then you'll see there's two little buttons here one is a fade in motion and one is a fade out motion if we click on both of these then you'll see that when we play that again the video clip will fade in instead of just appearing which looks a lot better than it just appearing instead of having any nice fading in motion. So it's a lot better to look at and makes it look a lot more professional. So obviously you can change the other two videos as well to your liking and you can change the text here. So to change the text you left click on the text file which is down here in the timeline, left click on there and then you can edit it. So obviously this video was filmed in Scotland so I would call it a holiday in Scotland. Now you'll see that because I've changed the text it's moved it from its original position and it's not aligned to the top center of the screen. So you'll see here there is an alignment uh, tool and you can press the top center one if you wish or you can choose any others and then you can keep it where it goes or you can use the up and down arrows on your keyboard 
and you can position it in a nice smart uh, layout to how you like it. So I'm quite happy with the layout now. However, it doesn't look very exciting and appealing to look at. So if you left click on your text again, you can then choose your font type. So I'm going to choose a font which is more fun than just the basic which it's defaulted to. So I'm going to choose Seabird Light SF. And then I'm going to choose a different color. Left click on the color box. And then you can choose from a whole range of different colors here. You can also use the color picker. And then you can choose from any color there is. You can also paste, copy and paste a um, color code here if you know one. And then press OK and it will insert that color. So I'm just going to choose this green and press OK. You can see that the green has been inserted into the text and my title has changed color. So, now when we play this back you'll see that our video has been inserted and the text has changed color. So you should now be starting to get an idea of what an instant project is. Obviously there is a lot of stuff you can do and this is just one of the beginning ones which I've chosen here and the, you can do it for the whole project if you wish. Um, so the best thing to do is just have a good play around on the software and uh, basically see what different things you can do. Um, obviously what I've just done here is a very quick thing, just adding a few videos and a title. Um, if you really do work really hard at it, you can get a really good professional piece of work. Um, even just a few minutes at it can make it look really good. So uh, it's a really good idea to use an instant project, especially if you're new to the software. I really did find that when I was new to it. So I really hope this video has uh, given you a better idea of what an instant project is um, and how to use them. Uh, so I really hope it helped. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe if it did help you. Um, I look forward to seeing you in another video.